So we're here in New York, and you're going to speak here at the Auto Forum, uh, but you don't have a press conference at the Auto Show. Are, is Toyota kind of done with auto shows, or is it just a matter of product timing and the lack of inventory on the lots? No, we're, we're far from being done with auto shows. If you walk the uh, Javits Center, you'll see that we're really pleased. We have one of the biggest displays hmm. in the entire show, particularly when you combine the footprint that Toyota and Lexus has. As far as press conferences, it's just a matter of product cadence. Mm -hmm. But auto shows, we believe, particularly in the environment that the industry's in now with very low inventory, they're extremely important to be able to get out and show your products to customers. In fact, uh, we're seeing that around the country, that auto show attendance uh, in the markets that weren't previously canceled are up 15 to 20% this year. Hmm. So we have big expectations and uh, Hopefully there's going to be well over a million consumers walk through Javits Center over the next week. Well, that's the thing. The auto shows still seem very important for consumers, important for dealers to find out who's in the market, um, but not as much of a news event. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the, the case. And I, I think you'll you see that with uh, some of the OEMs. I'm surprised uh, some of the OEMs have chosen not to even be represented here, mm -hmm. uh, particularly the luxury brands out of Europe. I mean, where In a where place like New York. So actually, yeah, actually, uh, I'm really pleased. Uh, we have a beautiful uh, Lexus display over there. So that's all right. I'm, I'm okay with 100% market share. You'll take it. That's okay. right. So speaking of market share, uh, Toyota stayed ahead of GM in the first quarter of this year. Yeah. Uh, I know you said that's not really sustainable, but what is, what is your outlook for the year? Are you, are you optimistic about things getting back to normal? product at the factories this year or not until next year? Well, the crystal ball tends to be still a little cloudy right now. Mm -hmm. So we have a very good view of second quarter and a preliminary view of the third quarter. Our assumption is the supply chain should start to normalize in the fourth quarter. Okay. Now, that's production capability. That's not dealer inventory. <laughs> dealer inventory will take us well into 23 and before we start talking things about 20, 30 day supply. Mm -hmm. But uh, overall, we for re forecasted our industry expectations. We believe the consumer demand this year is somewhere around 16.5, maybe as high as 16.8, yet the industry is only gonna be able to build about 15.5. So we're forecasting a 15.5 industry. Again, it's not all consumer demand. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever experienced that we're forecasting what we believe the industry can build. And uh, we're gonna continue to build our fair share, but uh, really no projections on how the year end's gonna come out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you recently announced, or set, uh, Toyota recently revealed it'll be uh, 7,000 BZ4X yes. EVs for the US. Uh, 6,500 Solteras for Subaru. You are getting close to having sold so many plug-in hybrids that you'll start to lose some of the federal support uh, for your EV. Are you worried at all about being disadvantaged against your friends at Subaru? No, not necessarily. We, uh, we do anticipate that. We'll probably run through the 200,000 cap uh, somewhere between the second and third quarter this year because we've We've been very robust in the, uh, the plug-in hybrid space. Um, but uh, General Motors and Tesla are through their 200,000. So uh, we're hopeful that the, uh, the federal government will keep a level playing field, mm -hmm. something that we've been uh, vocal in the taxation issues of saying, you know, Toyota's position is we're okay if it's $10,000 or it's zero. Just, mm -hmm. just keep it level for the consumer. And so we're anticipating this, but uh, you know, with 7,000 units, quite frankly, Jamie, um, that 7,000 units is really controlled on supply chain issues that we're all facing with, and I'm confident they're already they're already spoken for. They, you're confident they are, but you're not taking orders, you're not taking reservations, despite all the sell selling you're doing up into the pipeline on regular you know Camrys and, and Siennas? Well we want to be realistic because uh, we know we're just starting this uh, supply chain and you know look we don't want to take a lot of orders and have customers waiting for cars that they may never get. Mm -hmm. um, that's happening too often in this this industry right now and we don't want to inconvenience customers that way so 
Our dealers are doing a great job. They're writing orders for vehicles that they know <laughs> we can get within a reasonable period of time. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, you know, the vehicles like the BZ4X, they're first going to be uh, skewed towards the ZEB states. Mm -hmm. So if you're in Texas or Illinois or somewhere that's not a ZEB state, uh, we don't want to take a lot of orders mm -hmm. until we're ready with the supply chain that we can build them. Do you think you can sell all 7,000 in the ZEV states? Uh, that is not our plan. Our okay. plan is is that uh, is that we wanted to distribute the vehicle uh, nationally, okay. but uh, but the initial allocations will be skewed there because that's where the immediate demand is. Mm -hmm. Great. Thanks, Bob. Thank Good you. Good to see you. Thank you.